Hi, YouTubers. How are you today? I hope everyone is well. Today, I am going to show you how to make the best collard greens you ever had. Okay? This is going to be a great video, but it won't be where you can say, sure, we got to get these steps together. As you can see, I washed my greens already, but I'm going to show you guys how to cut them and I'm gonna use ham hocks in my greens. I washed my ham hocks and I put them in here and boiled them for 10 minutes. I'm gonna take this water, pull it off, rinse this off again and get the video started. If you wanna see how I washed my ham hocks and my greens, put it down below and that will tell me if it's necessary to show you guys how to wash the ham hocks and how to wash the greens. Now I'm gonna rinse this off. As you can see, you can see all that in there. You don't want that. My grandmother would always clean her ham hocks and wash them, boil them, rinse them again, and get it started. There's lots of seasoning in a ham hock. So let me get this together, clean it off, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm gonna turn my pot on. And I'm gonna put my onion, a half an onion in here, okay? That's about what you need because I'm gonna use onion powder also. And remember, I washed my ham hocks and I let them boil and I rinsed them off. And I'm gonna put them into this pot, lay them in here because this is your pot liquor. This is what you want, like this. So I'm gonna pour this water over it, like that. And you wanna go in with some onion powder and a little bit of garlic powder. Measurements will be in the description box. All right, you got your onion powder, your garlic powder. I'm going in with a little white pepper. I want to go in with some hot sauce. Very little in my bottle. Now, if you like, instead of the hot sauce, you could use the chili peppers and put them in there. This is going to boil up. We don't want to forget our vinegar. In there. Now, what you want to do with this is make sure that the water is about like that over your ham hocks. We're gonna let this boil for about an hour and a half because this is gonna be your pot liquor. So you wanna watch out for your ham hocks because this is what you want. If you want those greens to be good, this is what you want. This is what they call the pot liquor, okay? So we're gonna let this cook for two hours at least an hour and a half, guys. Let it go, and then we'll be right back. Okay, guys, while I'm waiting on my ham hocks to boil, I wanted to show you how you take and cut your greens up. They call this picking the greens. Your grandmother might say, come help me pick the greens. And this is what you do. You're just gonna take the greens apart and take that stem out the middle. You can cut it like that also. Just like that. Some people like their stems in their greens. So you have a matter of opinion. I take my stems out all the way up to like that. Okay? And I'm gonna show you how I cut my greens. Okay, and once you cut them, you take them and you put them together just like this, and you roll the grains up. And once you roll them, you cut them, and that's how you get your greens like that. 
okay? And I'll say it again, if you need to learn for the beginners who need to learn how to cut the greens, I mean to clean the greens, put it down below. Okay? These already been washed and cleaned out, guys. Okay? So now to the next step while we're waiting. All right, guys. I just wanted to do the check in on that pot. You see where that pot liquor is starting to form in that pot with those ham hocks? That is the love of your greens. Everybody may do their greens different. I have a hot pot greens on there. I have a green with smoked turkey on my channel. I'll try and put those in so that once you see this video, you can see the other one. Now, if you have some bacon fat, this is the time to go and get it. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do these greens. I have a bigger pot and I'm going in with about maybe three tablespoons of oil. You can use the oil of your choice. What I'm doing with my ham hot, you can do with your smoked meat, your turkey meat, whatever meat you choose to use. I want to go in. All right, guys, that's three tablespoons of oil. And what you want to do is put them in slowly. The greens are going to cook down. Keep your fire on medium low. Okay? And you just want to fry these up a little bit, okay? That's what we're doing. And we're going to add more into the pot. This is my grandma Ruby's way of cooking her greens, guys. She would do hers like this. And there is a person on YouTube that reminds me so much of my grandmother's cooking. And I don't know if you guys know who she is. Her name is May May's Happy Table. She cooks exactly like my grandmother. So you want to keep stirring these up. Okay? Just like that. And that's what you do for your greens, guys. Keep stirring them up with that oil. A lot of people use bacon fat to stir them in. These greens are going to hook all the way down. Okay. See how easy it is? It looks hard, but it's easy. It's just a matter of getting that seasoning right and not overcooking your greens. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, guys, look. Thought you had a lot of greens, didn't you? Look how they have cooked down. These greens has cooked all the way down. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add this to our pot liquor. And what we're going to do, once we add it, we're going to put a pinch of salt, some more onion powder, and a little um, white pepper into our greens. This is how much the greens has cooked down. I think I had a little bit over two and a half pounds of greens. Okay, these are ready to go into our pot liquor and this is what you wanna do next. All right, see that? Look at the color of your water. Okay, so now what we want to do is this. We're going to take the greens, or you could just take, if you're do, doing it like me, and use your pot and pour your hot liquor into it. I'm just going to take my greens and put them in. I'm going to put them into the pan with the, with the uh, pot liquor.
All right. Now, what you want to do is this. And you want to add to this now. You want to just put a little salt in your hand and sprinkle it over your greens. Then you want to go in with some onion powder. You don't want garlicky greens, guys. And I want to use a little pepper. White. And I'm going to let these cook over an hour. And I want to check it as I go. If you want to sugar, because, you, you know, some people think their greens are going to be bitter. You put a little bit, pinch of sugar in here. If you want to put some butter, you can put some butter in here. Okay, guys, these are going to go for at least an hour or so. I'm going to check them, come back, and let you guys see that you can have the best collard greens you ever had. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. This has been over like about an hour. And can you see that pot liquor in there? I'm gonna stop my greens and put them up, guys. Today is an awesome Sunday. We're gonna have this with our fried chicken, cornbread, and some baked beans today. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and a comment, guys. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome Sunday. Voila! Bye-bye.